Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forotech so i upgraded to Oxygenos 12 open beta 2C04 i was using beta 1 before but on the next day we got the stable Oxygenos 12 update for the devices which are running on the stable Oxygenos 11 but after the upgrade it's still showing the beta update tag yesterday popular forum xd developer released the new post saying that the new update release for the devices with the 4.8 GB package size is the stable Oxygenos update This is because of the mistake by the OnePlus they did not revise the tag before releasing the update they have given the download link for this software which can be flashable via local upgrade so finally it's confirmed that this is the stable update release for the OnePlus Nord 2 on the 4th June new official post came on the OnePlus community confirming that the new update release is the stable Oxygen OS which has same change log that was released for the Oxygen OS 12.1 beta 02 But now they have taken down the update and will be released for the few devices only for the all the regions in the upcoming days which will have the stable update tag. So if you didn't got this update I will show you how to flash it but the important notification before we start this firmware is only for the Indian regions don't use it for the other regions. Also do not flash it on unlock bootloader otherwise you will break your device. After flash you need to wipe the data so keep the full backup. Today in this video we will see how to flash this update on the devices which are on the open beta 1 or the 2 we will see all the new change log in the details at the end i will tell you the few works so watch the video till then now with the further do let's get started You need to download the full package of 4.8 GB from the link given under the video description. Place it in the root of the storage. Now go to the about phone, tap three dot menu and select the local upgrade. Now choose the downloaded package. System will verify the update. Once done, it will tell you the details about the update. It's Oxygenos 12.1 Android 12. So we started the flashing and the phone will boots to the stock recovery and it will start flashing of the update. But once the flashing gets completed, phone will reboots back to the stock recovery. Now tap wipe and type the password that will get on the screen after format phone will reboots to the system finally we updated from the beta version to the stable version of Oxygenos 12.1 i completed the setup of the device now we'll first see the about phone section so if you check the software update still it will show you the update tag of open beta 2 Oxygenos 12.1 android 12 if you tap on the android version this is the android 12 version with the new stereo of android 12 security patch is updated to the latest with may 2022 if you goes to the version tab you can see it's the build number as the dn2101c04 now it's time to overview the complete change log first one is about the battery now they added a smart battery engine which helps to prolong the battery if you goes to the battery stat you get some advanced setting like the high performance mode use this mode only while the gaming optimized battery setting toggle will help to optimize the apps to reduce the battery usage Sleep standby toggle will help to reduce the battery usage when phone is in a sleep mode. Optimizer night charging toggle will help to reduce the battery aging and controls the battery charging speed at the night and avoid the overcharging. Instead of this system will recommend you the different suggestion to prolong your battery life. So follow this recommendation as much as possible to improve your battery life. New Oxygenos 12 has the optimized AI system booster 2.1 for your system to run smoothly even when the load is high. Actually it will really feels working because the apps opening transition animation typing switching between the applications haptic feedback really feels smooth in the new rom they optimized the desktop icons added new material u theming which was absent in the previous builds actually material u theming will not completely or all the look of your device like the pixel devices because this software is tweaked by the OEM to use the material u clock download the google clock application from the play store and add the widget on the home screen You will feel the material you best themes in the clock on the keyboard and on the system notification pop-ups. They added the new image sharpener and the video color boost setting under the display and the brightness. But the image sharpener tab showing me the phone is too hot. Feature unavailable notification but later after the reboot it was fixed. Both of these setting will improve your image and the video quality. Next is the dark mode available in the same setting of the display and the brightness. Now you get the three different dark mode styles like the enhanced, medium and the gentle. which has different levels of dark mode instead of this we get some toggles like adapt to contrast adjust wallpaper to the dark mode adjust icon to the dark mode all this setting gives option to customize dark mode at a different level new under 12 has the new shape which is accessible while swiping down from the top right corner which has the different cast for the weather applications 
वन प्लस वॉच हेल्थ एंड मेनी मोर वी कैन कस्टमाइज द इच कार्ड बाय द ऑप्शन विच गेट्स आफ्टर लॉन्ग प्रेसिंग ऑन द कार्ड वो गेट्स द गियर सेटिंग आई कॉन एट द टॉप राइट कॉर्नर इन दैट वी कैन डिसेबल द शेप विच कैन बी एक्टिवेटेड वाय स्टॉक सेटिंग लेटर Now the shape has one plus scout inbuilt by using that you can search any application documents phone numbers web search by just typing keywords right in the shape New update has the new gallery which allows you to switch between the different layouts with the two finger gesture intelligently recognize the best quality pictures and cropping the thumbnail based on the content making the gallery layout more pleasant Next is the new Canvas AOD which has the optimized software algorithms and the improved face recognition to better identify the features and the screen color of the different figures. Here I added one picture as the AOD and the system has correctly identified the best layout for it. You can see the preview of this new Canvas AOD by using the preview tab. I really like this new customization but sometimes the AOD is more battery consuming so my recommendation is to don't use the Canvas AOD. Next is the work life balance which can be found under the special feature tab of the setting. Here we can add the work mode and the life modes. In the work mode we can set the timing of our work time like from the 9 am to the 6 pm and can edit the application to use while we are on the work. Instead in the life mode we can add the life mode timings and the applications means we can use the entertainment applications social media apps when we are out of work. This feature helps to avoid the mixing of our life mode and the work modes. so we can concentrate on our work and the life but we can switch between these two modes via the status bar notification whenever emergency arises whenever we opens the life mode applications while we are on the work mode we get the notification pop up to avoid the use of that applications also next and the final big change is the new gaming mode while playing the games we can access the game mode by swiping down from the left and the right corners here i will tell you only important features that the change log added New end-to-end hyperboost frame rate stabilizer is added in the new build to improve the gaming performance. There are three different gaming modes available like the less power, balance, performance which helps to improve your gaming experience. Touch algorithm is the new setting which has the slider to increase the touch and the swipe sensitivity. There are some toggles like the notification tower, mister's prevention, blocking screenshot and the split gestures. I played BGM using the new game mode. I enabled the performance mode. In the touch optimization, I kept the swipe and the touch sensitivity at the high level. I also used the Force 90th mode. You can check that from the right side I card video. In the graphics setting, the new option was didn't support the ultra HD mode, so I kept it on the HDR and frame rate to the ultra mode. Full gaming session was so smooth there are no any lags. Even FPS is showing always at the 90 hertz but actually game frame rates are at 30 FPS when I check it using the system info of the game mode setting but the graphics and the gaming experience was very good on the new Oxygen OS update instead of this some other features like one handed mode to access the last screen by swiping down from the navigation feature pill is now available which was missing in the old versions another toggle ram boost which takes the full advantage of ram capacity to speed up the daily performance Another cool feature is the RAM expansion. It's nothing but the virtual RAM which uses the some part of the storage and helps to hold the most of apps running in the memory. Here we get the 2GB, 3GB and up to the 5GB expansion. Once selected, we need to restart the device to make effect work. We also get the hold power button to use the Google Assistant. Here they added the handy trick to use the power menu. We just need to long press the volume up and the power button to use the power menu. You can also check my open beta one video from the iCard. There I discuss some more features in the details. So let's see the issues of the new Oxygen OS 12 first. And the major issue is that you can't downgrade to the Oxygen OS 11 because no downgrade package available till now by the OnePlus. I tried the old downgrade package given by the OnePlus, but that is not working. It says the update failed notification after flashing the zip was stock local upgrade. Next is we can boot to the recovery by pressing the volume down plus power button but stock recovery didn't have the install from the storage option to flash any zips or the updates. Next is if you try to boot the rom in the bootloader mode using the adb commands in the same window it will show with the verification failed in the small tiny letters. Instead of that some users are reported that that charging is not working phone takes too much time to charge the phone but in my case phone takes 45 minutes for the full charge. Some people says that they lost the 4K 30fps camera stability. Maybe these are the device specific issues. But I didn't found both of the above mentioned bugs, but the camera still didn't have the 4K 60fps recording option, which is the big disappointment. Some people facing the heavy battery drain, 
So my recommendation is to do the full wipe and disable the always on display and then check the battery. Actually I felt the new Oxonos 12 has the better battery life than the old Oxonos 11. I got more than the day uses with the 7 to 8 hours of SOT in the last two cycles. So this is all about the new Oxonos 12.1 stable update for the Nord 2. Hope this one provides us the downgrade package if someone want to downgrade. But in my opinion new update is pretty stable and can be used as daily driver. Only matter is the color was best feature. There are so many everywhere in the setting that you will feel you are in the circus. But it's the matter of choice so decide yourself you need to upgrade or not. That's it guys for today. If you think I'll help you please do like and share this video. Subscribe to channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.